I have the Ghost Rider Marvel Legends 375 Retro figure here. This one I was super excited to get. Uh, less interested about the bicycle, more interested about the Ghost Rider figure himself, which you can see is pretty amazing looking. It's the classic style figure, which a lot of the, the retro line does do a really good throwback to some of the original artwork of the characters that we were introduced to in the comics. So with this figure, they do the exact same thing. So let's open them up and take a closer look. So windowless packaging, there seems to be a lot of space in between the figure and the, the bike, but that's okay. So the figure has the normal points of articulation, which are the arms and the legs and the neck that we, we grew up with. And then also has the wrist articulation, which is very important for him because it allows his arms to pivot to hold on to the handlebars. And if you look at the flames on his head, it's the translucent plastic to make it look like flames, which is a pretty amazing feature. So now the bike itself, when you take it out of the bag, at least mine came disconnected, which is fine. It pops right back in. I'm not sure if that's everybody's or if it ju just got moved around during transit. So it pops right back in. So let's take a closer look at this. I'm, I gotta say, a little bit underwhelmed on the the coloring. The detail on the bike is amazing, but had they done like maybe some black applications here and there to kind of break the monotony of the red, it looks like a motorcycle you would find at like a 99 cent store. So it does not look like it's the quality that you expect from Hasbro, especially seeing the actual figure itself. The wheels, however, have like the translucent fire on them. So really cool feature, but the rest of the bike, it kind of gets washed away with just so much red. And even though there's a lot of detail, there's just not a lot of color differentiation. Plus the bike knocks over the figure, so we have that. But I can see, I know there's a lot of customizers out there that are gonna have a field day with this. Like I said, the detail's there. So it's just, there's gonna be some really cool uh, paint jobs, I'm gonna say. So whether or not I take that on myself, uh, probably no, knowing myself, but I'm pretty happy with the, the figure itself. And the retro 375 figures, the price point is, is pretty attractive for the style of figure. So I definitely say it's, it's worth the money. So when you sit him on his bike, looks pretty awesome. Like I said, his wrist pivots so he can hold on. And then uh, the wheels move so you can slide him around. He's got a kickstand to hold him up so he can be displayed upright. And then the other Ghost Rider is a huge fan. Uh, he does seem to approve of the bike. Uh, he approves so much, unfortunately, that I believe he's going to be taking the bike. So this is now his bike. So the bike also fits the Marvel Legends six inch figures. So, he, yeah, he fits right on. He looks fantastic. Now if he can get around, he can uh, get back at the soles that he needs. Just really great. Actually, he looks pretty fantastic out there. He might be displayed on this bike from now on. And I'll probably just stand the, the Ghost Rider figure with my other 375 figures, which I just love his look. So that alone makes the, the pack worth picking up. So I'm a huge, huge fan. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Awesome.